Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Louis Ning Chang uh, Jr. and this is my channel and today's video is going to be about um, it's Art Talk Licensing Contract to Merchandise Art Images by Louis Ning Chang, of course by me and I, just, uh, I have to apologize because it's been like uh, maybe a week I haven't been, you know, I missed a week about um, putting any videos up I gotta do other stuff and been kind of busy, but I guess if you see my news art, it was just on the, was last Saturday or something, so I did I could put it up. But then again, let's start uh, with the video. So we're gonna first off uh, start with um, let's say now this contract is about licensing, and let's say for example, if you create art, written art, you can take the same image. And have it, you know, sell it to other companies like uh, uh, T-shirts and, and books and greeting cards and all anything above. You know, there's anything out there. You don't have to be a collector. Some people buy them just like a book bag or, or a purse. So you can do many things with your images. That's why it's very important to copyright it, so that way nobody could steal it from you. And then that company has to have actual permission for to use the image. So we're gonna start with the contact right now. Okay, one more thing I forgot to say, uh, if you want to know more about my art, I got my website, eBay store, down in the description box below, and check that out, okay? Alright, so let's start. Alright, so, <clears throat> we're going to start, when you come, when you make, create the contract for the licensing contract to merchandise and art images, it goes something like this. We're going to start from the first paragraph, agreement made as of this day, wherever they could be, and wherever year, right? Between between that date and this other date, whether it's like uh, uh, or April 1st or, or April, like say 30th, you know. So, um, hereafter, refer to the artist, look at whatever address could be and whatever address the company could be. But who, here, here and after, refer to it as the licensee, look at and this whatever the direction the, the, the company would be located. With respect to use of the certain images, Created by the artist and for manufactured products. Okay, that'd be like the first paragraph, right? So, whereas the artist is a professional artist of good standing, and whereas the artist has created the image that the artist wishes to license for purpose of manufacturers and sale, and whereas the licensee wishes to use the image to create certain products or products for manufacturer sale, and Whereas both parties want to achieve the best possible quality to generate maximum sales. So this is pretty good, um, let's say, uh, like you make posters and you make a lot of these things that, you know, greeting cards and t-shirts, they make multiple items, you know what I'm saying? So you can make mass money off of that. Even though you feel that, that even though you sell your art and that bit, you can do a lot more than that. Okay, I'm gonna ask. okay, now, now and therefore, in consideration for foregoing premises at the mutual convenience here and after, set forth and other valuable consideration, the parties hereto agreed as follows. Okay, number one, the grant of merchandising rights. The artist who grants the licensing and the exclusive non exclusive right to use the image titled wherever it could, the art it could be titled of and described as whatever which can be created and is owned by an artist as, as part of the following types of merchandise for manufacturer and it be like a blank and then we have manufacturer distribution and sale by the licensee in the following graphic area blank wherever area could be and for the following period of time Whatever time it be end, okay. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we're gonna go with number two, the ownership of copyright. The artist shall retain all copyright in all images. Licensee shall identify the artist as creator of the image and licensee product and shall reproduce their own copyright notes for the artist, which shall include the word copyright or the symbol of copyright, the artist's name. And year of what's uh, publication. Okay. 
Now we're gonna go on the third one. Um, advance and royalties. The licensing agrees to pay the artist at non friendable advance in the amount of whatever dollars upon signing the disagreement, which advance shall be recouped from the royalties due here and here under. The license further agrees to pay the artist a royalty of whatever percentage of the next sale of the licensed products. Net sales. As you herein shall so mean sales to customers less pre prepaid freight or credits for lawful customary volume rebates. Actual returns and allowances. Royalty shall be deemed to occur when the licensed products are sold, shipped, invoiced, whichever first occurs. So we're going to go into number 4, Payments and Statements of Account. The royalty payments shall be paid monthly on the first day basis the month commencing where the day a month and the license shall with, with each payment furnish the artist with a monthly statement of a, account showing the kinds of quantities, quantities of all licensed products sold. The price received thereof and all deductions for freight, volume, rebates, returns, and allowances. The artist shall have the right to terminate the agreement upon 30 days notice of the licensee fails to make any payment required of it and does not cure the default with said 30 days. Whereupon all rights granted wherein shall revert immediately to the artist. All right, so we have to miss the inspection number five, inspection books and records. The artist shall have the right to inspect the licensed books and records concerning the sales of the licensed product upon per written notice. Okay, we move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one will be number six, samples. The licensee shall have give the artist Samples of the licensed products for the artist's personal use. The artist shall have the right to purchase additional samples of the licensed products at the licensing manufacturing costs. Number seven, quality of reproduction. The artist shall have the right to approve the quality of the production of the image on the licensed product and agrees. Art agrees to not to withhold approval, approvable unreasonably. Let's see, the next one is eight, number eight, promotion. The license shall use the best effort to promote, to distribute, and sell the license for products. So let me see, we up to, okay, number nine, all uh, misreservation of rights. All rights not specifically transferred by the agreement or reserved to the artist. Let me see number. Let me see. It'll be number ten. And and the minification. The license shall. The licensee shall hold the artist harmless from the against, against any loss, the expense, or damage occasioned by any claim, demand, suit, or recovery against the artist, writing of the use of the image for the licensee product. Okay, we up to number. Let me see. Alright, okay, so 11 assignment neither party shall assign rights or obligations under the agreement except that the artist may assign the rights to receive money due here under. Alright, number 11. Neither party shall assign rights to obligations under this agreement except the artist may assign the right to receive money due to here under. Did I do one already? I think we did that one already, okay. I think number 12, nature contract, nothing here shall be constructed to constitute the parties here on joint adventures, nor shall any similar relationship be deemed to exist between them. Okay, so let me see, what's the next one? Okay. 13, governing law. The government shall be consulted in accordance with the laws of whatever state you live in. A licensee consents to the jurisdiction of the courts of wherever the, the, the court is located in your country. So uh, let's see what else. 13. Addresses all notices, demands, payment, 
Warranty payments and statements shall be sent to the arts at the following address where we will be located and to licensee address at wherever the licensee or license holder when you want to call them is located. So the address, let's see where my hand. Okay, 15 the modification in writing. This agreement constitutes the full understanding between the parties here, here too and shall not be modified amended or charged in any way except for by any agreement signed by both parties here too okay we're gonna finish it right here <clears throat> one more thing i gotta do before everything in, uh, is understood okay, i'll put my glasses on okay so over here we have in witness of and the parties have signed agreement of as of this date first set forth above now in at, in at the end in the bottom of the contract it's gonna be R's name, sign that, licensee the company's name and by by authorization senatory title, okay, whatever that's supposed to mean. Now when you sign contracts, it's good to have two copies, right? One copy for the artist and one copy for the company, right? And both of them have to be signed, not not copied. Both of them have signed by by hand, both the companies and the artist himself. So I guess uh, hopefully you guys get into licensing one day and uh, I actually myself, I uh, uh, actually have some company that have a, uh, let's say, um, shop Vita which I have, you know, uh, some images in my art and, and some clothing. So you can check that out if you're into, you know, fashion, like buying clothes, mostly all women um, clothing. You check that out, check out in my description box below because I did a... Uh, um, have some images in fashion world in my shop my shop video store so I'll take that out in my link before uh, they usually have um, let's say little discounts and use the code and stuff like that so whatever have in it available right now okay so let's wrap it up uh, if you like the video share make a comment uh, thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel my name is Lewis Ning Chong thanks for watching